What are the structures to be seen? How to identify the structures? First, how to identify the Schwalbe's line? This is the section of this LED lamp. You, you will see that light here on the external surface of the cornea and the internal surface. And this cornea is transparent. And as we go posterior towards the sclera, we'll see the opacity. You will notice that the two light beams meet here the light on the anterior external surface and the, on the internal surface of the cornea meet here at the Schwalbe's line. Here in this histology, light on the anterior surface like here and that on the posterior surface of the cornea will be here. This cornea is transparent, this is clear, is opaque, so the light will come and join the anterior and the, the external and the internal lights will meet here at the Schwalbe's line. I tried to demonstrate that this is the angle. This is the narrow slit. Here the light on the internal surface of the cornea, the light on the external surface, this is the transparent cornea. Both lights meet here at the Schwalbe's line and here we have the opaque limbs. So you are expecting Schwalbe's line to be here. One more time. This is the location where we should look for the Schwalbe's line. Internal light, external light meet here. So this is the Schwalbe's line, this is the trabecular area. As you can see here, light will continue on the angle recess, then root of the iris. So this is the angle of the anterior chamber. You can see it here, this is the iris, this is the ciliary recess, and here in this area, the, the trabecular area, this is the anterior schwalbes, or the schwalbes line, and this is the scleral sphere, or in the past was called the posterior schwalbes line. As you see here, schwalbes line, is the meeting between the external and the internal lights in a section in a cornea. Then we see the trabecular meshwork, which is slightly pigmented. Then we'll see a band, whitish, which is the scleral sphere. The trabecular area is usually pigmented. The canal of Schlem normally not visible, but sometimes if it is full of blood, we can see a reddish hue along the trabecular meshwork. The ciliary band, this area, you can see it here, the dark pigmented zone. Iris is light pigmented, then the ciliary band, then the trabecular area. This is the iris, the ciliary band, the trabecular area. The iris processes these fine brownish lines are seen extending from the periphery of the iris and coming to cover the trabecular meshwork. Here these are the iris processes. So here we have the Schwalbe's line, the brownish pigmentation of the trabecular meshwork, and this whitish area is the scleral sphere then this dark area is the ciliary recess and then the iris and these lines are the iris processes if we see all these structures this is a wide open angle one more time Schwalbe's line, scleral sphere, trabecular area ciliary recess, iris and these are the normal iris processes don't see anything. We just see the iris and back of the cornea. We don't see any structure. So this is an example of a closed angle.
In this area, we can see a small area of the trabecular meshwork. So it's not totally closed, but it's narrow angle. Identification 